Hi, this is Miss Landy. Welcome back to Art History. We are going to talk about the portrait. And as you know, that is a type of subject matter. And we've been looking at many different types of subject matter. But we will do a project today in the style of the artist called Picasso. And I'd like to show you, we can get a little bit closer to this one. Here is a poster that he made, but we are looking at his style. So I would like to show you how to do a portrait in Picasso's style. So let's get started. Here is a picture of Picasso. His full name was Pablo Picasso. He is in his studio right here. So I wanted you to take a look at him so you know who he is. This was a self-portrait that he did when he was a little bit younger. Here are two more portraits that he painted. Let me get a little closer to that. And then here is the last one. This is called Seated Woman. And I would want you to pay attention to the bright colors that he uses and the various shapes that he uses. And this is a part of the type of artwork that he came up with called the Cubist Movement. And we will talk about that much later, but what I would like you to focus on is the way the portrait looks, okay? So let's get started on our project. Are you ready? I know you are. Okay, the materials that you will need today will be a piece of paper and you will also need a dark marker and you will also need other different colors to decorate it. Are you ready to get started? I know, you're like, hey, let's get started. Okay, I hear you. Step one, you are going to take your paper and fold it several different times. As you can see, I'm gonna get a little bit closer. I use diagonals. I folded it maybe six to seven places, okay? So that's step one. Step two, you're going to take marker and outline where the different folds are. Okay, that was step two. <laughs> okay, now what I did was I drew the nose in first, then I drew the eyes. I placed the eyes in different levels to make it look more abstract. I drew the eyebrows, lips, I have one side I'm smiling, the other side I'm frowning, but I'm always smiling. And I drew in the hair and I just followed the different lines. Stay tuned, I wanna show you how I finish this project. Okay, the last step is to add the color and texture. So I used a few different colors in, um, as you can see, it's not perfect, but we're just having fun with this. This is your assignment today. Please get started and email that to me as soon as you're finished today. Bye.